tutorial, we're going to learn how to adjust saturation using the sponge tool, repair areas using the clone stamp tool, and we're going to learn how to use content-aware fill. The first thing we're going to do is adjust the saturation using the sponge tool. When you change the saturation of a, of a color, you adjust its strength or purity. So the sponge tool is useful for making subtle changes to images. Now, we're going to use the sponge tool to saturate some of the color out of the graffiti. Let's go over here and find our sponge tool. It's located under the dodge tool, so we're going to hold down our mouse, choose the sponge tool. Up here is our options bar for each one of these tools. So let's go up here and change the size of that brush to about 150. You can also, if you can't get it to exactly what you want, just Go up there and type it in. We also want the hardness, make sure that's zero, which it is. So let's just click off of here. Now we want to choose saturate instead of desaturate from the mode. And the flow is halfway now. Let's take it down just a little bit. And again, you can also click in here to enter that. So we're going to take our sponge tool and we're going to drag it over here to the left of the girl. You can see, especially in the bricks area, that it saturates. It takes some of that color out. It makes it a little bit brighter. So we're going to do that over here as well. You can keep going. The more you go, the more it takes. So it's totally up to you. The main thing to remember with the sponge tool is you do not want to oversaturate your image. Once you're finished, go over here and click on the Move tool to ensure that you don't accidentally add saturation somewhere else. The next tool we're going to use is the Clone Stamp, found over here in your Tools panel. It looks just like a stamp. Let's click that. In the Options bar, we're going to choose the Brush Pop-up menu. We're going to change the size to 20 or 21. The hardness should stay at zero. Next, we're going to go up here to Window and pull up the Clone Source panel. We want to choose Show Overlay if it's not already and Clipped. Make sure that opacity is at 100%. The overlay here lets you see what you're cloning before you stamp it. Let's close that. We want to take this right here and go over the hot spot in the bricks over there. So in order to start using the clone stamp, you have to hold your Alt key down while you click. Let's just choose an area right here. Next, we're going to use our mouse, hold that down, and run it across there. And there you have your hot spot removed. If you would like, you can go down here and do a little bit more. And there you go. This is the clone stamp tool. The last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is use content aware fill. What this does is it takes blending a few steps further. Photoshop fills a selection with pixels to match a surrounding area. So let's start by choosing the quick selection tool in your tools panel. Let's go up here to your options bar, change the size to 3. Now we're simply going to select the crack right here because we want to make that look like everywhere else in the bricks. So we're going to click and drag until we've selected the whole area we want. You can either go Edit Fill or you can right click Fill. Your box pops up. We want to keep it on Content Aware and 100% opacity. So all we're going to do is click OK. And as you can see, it fills your area where it looks like the other places. So to deselect this, all you have to do is Control D if you're a Windows user, Command D if you're a Mac user. Let's go ahead and do one more area right here just to show you. Reinforce that. We're going to take this dark spot over here. We're going to select that area. We're going to right click, fill, again make sure it just has content aware and opacity at 
Okay. Control D to deselect, and there you go.